Due to immature theme, the following program is not intended for viewing by older parents. <coughs> earliest years in this infant business, Dave blazed trails none of us have dared to follow. Among them, an unparalleled sense of humor and timing, which made bedtime news so memorable. As a Sealy employee for so long, I imagine you yourself sleep on a Sealy posturepedic. Well, the truth of the matter is, it's kind of embarrassing now, you know, what with my job and all. I mean, I'm not much of a sleeper. I mean, it's kind of funny, but I just can't sleep. Uh, you're an insomniac. A what? I say you're an insomniac. No, I'm Catholic. Where do you get your weather from, bud? Well, a lot of it comes out of the West. <laughs> I mean, all those charts and graphs and instruments you use. Oh, well, they, they don't mean very much. I usually call the Weather Bureau. Call the weather Return with us now to those thrilling years of yesterday when a masked man disguised as a mild-mannered newscaster for Channel 4 fights a never-ending battle to bring news, weather, and sports to the old Northwest. And now the bedtime news with Dave Moore. Brought to Dave may best be remembered for the bedtime news, a Saturday night satirical review of the news of the day. Buy what? Buy the three free sheets. Well, if the three free sheets are free, why do you have to buy them? Don't buy them. We can get in a lot of trouble taking all those politician statements out of context and running them all together like that. It's ineffective, it's immoral, and uh, it's unnecessary. But that's just one man's opinion. That was a bunch of hooey. Oh, I don't get any comfort out of that snake. If you think it's such a good idea, you do it. Okay, I will. You wait for me in the car. Boy, look at all that water. Mayor Stenvig was always an asset to our old bedtime news programs. Actually, we never had to worry about taking his statements out of context. They were out of context when he made them. You just can't keep spending and spending, but not to the point that our city will not progress and not be a progressive city. A fiery host with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty... Happy New Year! The son of Bedtime News. Bedtime News was a terrific show. And uh, uh, actually probably in many ways much more creative than uh, Saturday Night Live. No, he's not half bad. You know, dum cha, dum cha, dum da dum cha. Right. <laughs> Guy Lombardo. The second dum cha, I popped right out. <laughs> you get it? Put the cut You get it? Get it? Get it? Just coming to that. It seems that when Mister, uh, when he got off the airplane at Kennedy Airfield, there was this young lady, who. Uh, I think he can probably tell the story better than I. Is it a guy sipping it on a bachet? Yik, shy, keep it on a bracket. Yik, got a red, yik, it's a big deal. Go, it's a good thing. Yik, it's a good thing. Yik, it's a good thing. Yik, it's a good thing. Which, of course, startled everyone. So on the one hand, he. Uh, uh, Good evening. I'm Dave Moore. Hi, Al Austin Moore here. And, and we're, we're not, not related. related. In the headlines, terrorists still hold up in the IDS building. We've been trying to make contact with them now. We'll get a little more a bit later in this newscast. Not St. Paddy. If St. Patrick drew the snakes out of Ireland, isn't that reason to celebrate? Certainly. But it's a celebration of reverence and thanks. Not carrying on and carousing and, 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 and speaking in that phony Irish brogue. The brogue is not phony. I made it up myself. The best part of winter, the best part by far, is kicking those ice chunks that form on your car. No matter our ages or races or genders, we all enjoy booting that slush off our fenders. It's deeply fulfilling, that contact and sound of boot hitting junk and then junk hitting ground. Makes you feel better, makes your day brighter, makes your tercel about 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> Boy, what a workout. We all could be hunks by starting each morning with kicking some chunks. So next time you spot one, no matter how awesome, don't wait and think maybe you might let it fall some. Go after it, mister. Attack it with zeal. And manfully give it the back of your heel. It may take you weeks, but of course that's good too. The winter goes faster with something to do. We said, I live in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. When I came back from uh, Vietnam in the 60s, um, I had forgotten how to laugh. Um, 
really forgotten how to laugh. I mean, there wasn't a funny bone in my body. And I started watching the bedtime news. And it, it took a while, but I realized and appreciated what that nut was doing there. But he, with his magic, taught me how to live again and laugh again.